Hi kids! Today we will learn about refraction. So let's start. We learned what is reflection and its types already. When light exists in a single medium, air or water or glass, it moves in a single straight line and at a constant speed until it is obstructed by some object. When it is obstructed by some object, it reflects at the angle, which is the same as the angle at which it hits the object. All reflected light obeys the relationship that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Whatever will be the angle of incident ray equal will be the angle of reflected ray. So, reflection is about the behavior of light in a single medium. Now we will learn about the behavior of light when it travels from one medium to another medium. Refraction or bending of light occurs when the light moves from one medium to another medium. It can be air to water. It can be water to air. It can be air to glass or back glass to air. Here's an example. When light from air enters a rectangular prism, which is another medium, it bends because the speed of light differs in different mediums. And when the light again passes from rectangular prism to the air, it again bends as its speed changes again. So light wave changes both its direction and speed. When it enters a different medium, speed of light slows down in a denser medium. Medium of air is less dense than the medium of prism. And when light enters denser medium, it bends towards the normal. And when light enters the thinner medium or less dense medium, it bends away from the normal. Now let's have a look at some more examples. Another example is light going through water, which can be demonstrated with a pencil in a glass container full of water. Put a pencil in a glass container. We see the image of a pencil as if it is bent. Why does it happen so? Let's try to understand. We see everything because light falling on it gets reflected back to our eyes. But in the case of this pencil, the light falling on the half of the pencil which is not in the water, is directly getting reflected back to our eyes without any bending. So we see that pencil's straight, but the other half of the pencil is in the water. The light falling on the pencil doesn't come to our eyes directly. It gets bent because it is coming from the water to the air. And this is why we see the other half of the pencil bent. The image, which seems to be bent, is a virtual image of the pencil. We cannot see the actual image of the pencil in the water because the light coming from it is bent. And we only see its virtual image, which seems as if it is bent. Here are some more interesting examples of refraction. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.